Okay guys, I'm going to do a real quick tutorial type video to uh, help you get your machine up and running as fast as possible. First of all, turn the power on. Turn your VFD on, which is your uh, spindle, obviously. Push run, so the little light lights up right there. There's a blinking reset button here, so you need to dial this to that, push it. Now it's reset, everything's ready to go. And you're probably wondering what all the various buttons and stuff on here do. So I'm going to go over those real quick. These are obviously jog buttons, and they uh, move your they move your uh, spindle and your gantry and everything like that around. So let me show you what they do. I'm going to keep that in the frame while I show you what they do. So Y plus will make the uh, thing go away from you. Z will make it go up. You know, Z plus will make it go up, and X plus makes it go that you know to the right. So, uh, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the Z a little bit, so we have some working room, and uh, we'll bring the the uh, Y uh, by pushing the Y negative. It's gonna bring it towards us a little bit. Pushing the X minus, it'll go back this way. X plus that way. Y plus back towards that way. Z minus goes down like that. A is non uh, non applicable right now, but the A is the fourth axis. If you decide to put a fourth axis on there, which I have machines with a fourth axis, fourth axis that I never ever use it. So I so I think it's kind of unnecessary for you know our general usage. Anyway, so now we know that that moves the spindle and the gantry and stuff around. All right, now let's see here. Obviously, let me see if we can get everything in focus here and perfect for you. There you go. Okay, the buttons and what they do. We know that these do that. You have an escape button, you have an up and down so you can scroll up and down through text and stuff. Uh, this button right here is your go to home button, basically. Alright, so you punch this little target button right here, click and it says return to P0. That's your zero point where, where your predetermined zero point is on your on your computer, so uh, on your on your setup there. So I have mine already set up on a hole that is uh, this the register hole for a slingshot that I'm going to do. So I have that there and I'll just push this button and it will automatically go to the predetermined hole right there. Okay, so that's very simple. It says return to home. There's another one. So if we do the return to home one, I go down to it like that, and I click on it. What will happen is I put I punch that one. Everything will come right here to the bottom left hand corner. I don't want to do that. It's just a waste of time to show you how all that works because it's easy enough for everybody to understand. And your probe. That's this next one here. If you use a probe to uh, uh, to determine where your uh, Z zero is, uh, this this machine does have a probe that, that attaches to it and works with it. Works real real well. I just don't use it myself. I use the uh, I just use the sheet of paper method. When I get close enough with the sheet of paper, pull it off and you know do it like that. Uh, return to zero. That's the same thing we just did. And of course exit. So we're going to push escape. Boom. That brings you back to this menu here. There's a run menu. There's nothing over here to run. Uh-oh. Well, that's kind of bad. That's okay. All right, so the, right now, uh, this one right here. Okay, let's say that you have your your uh, probe, or I mean your, uh, your spindle. You're trying to find the uh, proper uh, Z height for it, right? So right here, you get it kind of over your hole like where you want it. You push this button right here. Click and it has your regular manual movement so you, this moves uh, so whenever you do your uh, your movements here with your jog it you know just moves regular you know uh, bump bump fast or you can have it where it will move one millimeter at a time one step 
one punch of the button equals one step and one step equals one millimeter so the whole thing will only move by one millimeter boop 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 by one millimeter at a time or you can move it by one tenth of a millimeter by moving it right here I find this one to be very very good to find the centers of the holes you know the registration hole you put that over it and you can get it really really close on that now if you're cutting something very 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 precise you might want something that is one one hundredth of a millimeter and that's what this one is one one hundredth of a millimeter you don't even see the thing move with your eye but it moves whenever you punch it one button punch equals one one hundredth of a millimeter when you're on that mode anytime you do that it will turn green see if whenever you punch the button on it it shows green on there that means that's the one that's being used alright so now we'll escape from this screen when you escape from that screen it automatically goes back to manual so you don't have to worry about resetting it and do all that kind of stuff every time this one right here is your axis lock to zero buttons okay so whenever you found the zero that you want all right, so you can do one axis at a time, or you can do all axes at a time. And it's very simple. So generally what I do is I'll set up a registration hole, like I did on this link, uh, like I did on this board right here. There's a hole right there where the uh, where the spindle is, and right above it. And I'll move the spindle around until I get to that. And then I'll one axis at a time, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and click it on there. So like right here it says I want to make sure that the Z axis, uh, I mean the X axis is uh, is done. So I put it on there, click it, and that one's good. And then I move it around a little bit more, and then I'll say, oh, the Y axis is good. And then I'll say, okay, good, that one's good. And then the Z axis is good. When you do that, all of them are set. Or you can just go down to all shaft reset at one time and do it like that. And of course, you escape by doing this. Now, you set it up to where your where your zero is proper. You're all homed in. You're ready to go, and you want to do a uh, file now. Well, you take a TF card like this one, a little tiny TF card, and you put it in the slot like that. Snap it in, and then you do like this. You pull this right here. You Go to Open File, click it, and it brings up all the stuff that you have on there. Now the one that I have on there right now is actually a recurve, the slingshot that I have on there. So I put it down to recurves. And I have this set up, my organization for this is I have folders, and then I have a folder in the folder, and then the file. That way I have a general folder, and then it'll, uh, like this one right here, these are recurves, this is like... Uh, four or five different slingshots, maybe six different slingshots in that one folder and then I'll open up that folder by clicking it like that and I have, let's see how many folders I have in there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have eight of them, okay, well I have eight of them in there and then I just go down to the folder that is the slingshot that I'm working on this happens to be that one right there click it and then I go to the part of the code that I want to run, I want to activate. I already did the A side, so it's the A rough has already been done. I'll go down to the B rough here, I'll click that, open it, and then all I have to do then is just push this button to run it. I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so I go here, click, boop, and then it just starts running the file. This has to be the easiest, the easiest Just put this on pause here because I'll get noisy here in a second. This has to be the easiest operating system I've ever, ever used. Far, far easier than, uh, than Mach 3 or 4 and far more stable as well. This one, by using this setup here, I've actually run this one for six weeks straight without a, one single crash or falter. It's, it's an incredible, incredible piece of machinery. It's KISS. Keep it simple and stupid. There's no no extra stuff on here that you don't need or won't use and you can do everything on here that you can you could possibly need uh, you can even uh, go and uh, edit your files if you want that's super simple super good little uh, operating system uh, there's your line count then over here of course are your common 
you know your common uh, uh, values that are on here like a spindle speed uh, uh, and uh, the percentage of uh, feed rate and so forth and so on everything's on there and it all works perfect and proper and then if I want to make it go again I do is punch that right there and it says continue and then it'll continue like that well guys that's about it right there if y'all have any questions just leave it in the comment section below and uh, I think that pretty well explains how to run this machine I mean <laughs> this is this is the simplest easiest use you know general user interface that I know of all right guys thanks and y'all have a good day